And from there, the, the um, kind of component of Team Beachbody was created. So Carl Deichler, um, our CEO, was branching out to all of the people who were talking about it and invited them to become Team Beachbody, which became the opportunity to grow a business just by referring people to do what they're doing. So um, that's how Team Beachbody got started, and that is the core of what we do. We are proof that the products we use work, and we talk about it, and social media makes it even easier for us to grow a business that way, because now it's not just word of mouth, but it's sharing our journey on social media and connecting with people who need to do what we need to do or who have experiences that they um, can relate to us about and want to be a part of this community, want to travel with us, want to grow a business for supplemental income or full-time income. The potential is crazy and you're going to hear about that a little bit tonight. Um, but Beachbody is not just home workouts anymore and it's not just home workouts and Shakeology. Well, those are two of our like greatest, most popular products they have branched out so much in product development. They are now offering, um, and it's like the total solution is the way I like to put it. We offer like to the root health and fitness um, home workouts, or you can stream them in the gym now. So people get kind of beach body on demand, which you may be familiar with, and access to tons of programs. Um, but they also focus on whole food nutrition, Shakeology, um, lots going on there. Some people have misconceptions about Shakeology and think it's just a protein powder where it's really just um, solid nutritional support, things that we don't get in our day-to-day -day nutrition. And you can learn a lot about that. I won't go into it, but we offer fitness and nutrition. We offer meal plans of different varieties. So some are more structured and some are a little more flexible. Um, we offer now performance supplements. So people who used to think, oh, Beachbody is just fitness and Shakeology, we've expanded a whole new kind of branch and wing of performance line supplements, which I personally never thought I needed, never thought I, you know, never thought pre-workout was something that I'd get into. And it's been a game changer for getting my energy up and getting my workouts in, um, and muscle recovery formulas and things that when you implement in your routine, you generate greater results. So lots of things going on. We have snack bars, we have cleanses. Um, what else am I missing? We're coming out with an active wear line, which is pretty amazing. And um, they offer equipment. So things if you need to get some um, chin-up bars or whatever it is to do your programs, it's all offered through Beachbody and coaches get discounts. So that's pretty cool. So we, this team, the people on this call are one team under the partnership with Team Beachbody. You're going to learn a lot about um, the community, the travel opportunities, how we get paid here, um, some common misconceptions, and what we do on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis and how this could possibly fit in your life too. So before we jump into those topics, we just wanted to take a minute and give a brief rundown from a few of the coaches that are on this team and why they got started. So um, I briefly introduced myself. My name's Annalisa. I've been coaching for six years, almost six years. Um, I started coaching because I wanted supplemental income. I had sold jewelry before. I'd always been doing something on the side of my full-time job, um, which I'm currently a speech and language pathologist. Um, so I wanted it. I wanted to grow some income, um, but I sort of fell into that coaching opportunity because I needed something before my wedding to feel good, look good, feel confident, get my wedding dress fit, not you know fitting right. So my journey started pre-wedding. Um, my coaching started after, right after that, right after I got back, and then from there, it's um, been supplemental. And then I went into full time for a couple of years when I stayed home with my two, now two year old. Um, and I'm just getting back into work a little bit to get out of the house and keep my speech pathology skills up. So totally flexible. Um, but it's been a total blessing in my life. So I'm sure some other ladies on this call can relate and I'll pass it on. I'll say hi. Hi guys. I'm Alicia. Um, I've been a coach on this team for about four and a half years. 
Um, I started with Beachbody purely for my own physical goals. I was um, about six months postpartum with my second baby and I just wanted to lose baby weight. So I got started with 21 Day Fix and just kind of stumbled into the coaching world. Didn't really know there was an opportunity that was attached to it. Um, and didn't know the potential of the opportunity at all. I had goals of earning like $100 a month. And um, I've definitely surpassed that in the past four years or so. Um, this is a supplemental income for me. I am a full-time high school special ed teacher. I am a mom of two, so I'm super busy. Um, but I do this kind of in the cracks of my day. And it's been completely life altering. It's great for extra money. I've made amazing friends. These ladies are some of my besties. Um, and I've gotten to do a lot of traveling that I wouldn't have gotten to do had I not started coaching. And it's, it's great. I've lost like 40 pounds since then, kept it off. I'm healthiest I've ever been. And it's just completely transformed my life. I'll hop on. Um, all right, so my name is Kelly Riley, and I uh, live right outside of Boston, Mass. And I started these programs, actually it'll be four years next month. Um, I did not actively coach initially, and kind of came late to the game with that and started coaching probably about a year or so later. So I've been actively coaching for about three years. I am a registered nurse, um, a diabetes educator, um, a mom of two crazy busy kids, and I myself have type 1 diabetes. I also have celiac disease and a lot of health stuff, and I started this um, because, number one, it was the ultimate accountability for me to stay on track for me, which it has been, and um, in addition to that, the bonus is what it's given to my family in regards to what you're going to hear tonight, financially, um, trips. Um, community and friendships of many of the girls that are on this call tonight and it's become um, that blessing that I never thought was even something I needed and desperately did and thankful for you guys to all hear a little bit more about it tonight. I can go now. I'll go just because oh, I don't know how long I'm lasting tonight. Stephanie is killing me as is my head. Um, so hi guys I'm Stephanie. I have been coaching um, for about four years now. This is, um, I'm similar to Alicia in that this is um, my secondary job. I am a full-time school psychologist, and I have two little ones, a five-year-old and a two-and-a-half-year-old, and they keep me on my toes. So I am definitely very, very busy. Um, I started with Beachbody when my son was 15 months old. I was really in a bad state. Um, he was a preemie, so that kind of added to a whole level of depression for me, and then the postpartum depression on top of it, and I was just in a bad space, and I felt gross emotionally, physically, mentally, every last aspect of it, and not only did these programs change my life in terms of my physical transformation, but my mental stability as well. Um, in terms of the community, the relationships that I've built with these amazing, amazing women. Um, and just the mindset that comes from being in such a positive community. Sorry, my cat always needs to jump on. Um, but it, it just completely changed my life. And that, that's really... So short and sweet, so if you don't see me later, I'm sorry, but listen to everything they all have to say because these ladies are amazing, and yeah. So, okay. I will pop in. Um, I am Dana Fodiatis. I have been a coach for almost five and a half years now, which is crazy. Um, Annalise is my coach, and I recall having a conversation with her that I was – considering selling Tupperware because when I started coaching, um, I was in an extremely desperate rock bottom kind of a scenario. I was six months into uh, leaving abuse and becoming a single mom. I have a back history of heart disease in my family. I also had a traumatic accident when I was young, so I had had a lot of hip surgeries and I really needed um, some kind of an outlet or something to help me work on me given the the time it was in my life and also that I was going to be a single parent and I had no energy and I felt like crap and I just physically and emotionally um, 
was completely at rock bottom. So um, I dove into coaching, not just for my own personal journey um, and to work on me and be a happy, healthy mom and, you know, kind of break free of all of the past um, health scenarios I've had. But um, when I heard about the opportunity a few days kind of into starting my journey, um, I was at a crossroads of deciding if I was going to work two jobs and go back to school, um, or if I was going to do something totally different because once I became a single parent, I wanted to be home with my son and I had never even thought about being a work at home mom prior to that. But, um, when I saw the potential of this opportunity and I saw the purpose that was behind it, um, I dove all in and I ran since day one and I could not imagine who I would be or how our life would be, um, without this opportunity and the friendships and just the gift that it is um, to totally transform yourself inside and out. I can go really quick. Um, hi guys, I'm Kelly. I've been coaching uh, like two and a half years now about. Um, I, wow, I can't believe it's been that long. Um, I actually said no to coaching like Kelly Riley, the other Kelly, I said no to coaching for about 18 months. Um, I didn't think it was for me. And then, um, I was pregnant with my second baby and realized I had no idea how I was going to pay for daycare, even though both my husband and I had full-time jobs. Um, and so very honestly, the reason I started coaching was because I just, I needed extra income. Um, and then I absolutely fell in love with it. I had been doing the programs already uh, for about a year trying to lose, um, my baby weight. And then, um, so I already believed in the product. And, um, I actually started seeing other people have results and have those results because I was helping them was what sort of sealed the deal for me and, and hooked me in. So, um, that's my short and sweet. I'm going to be chatting with you guys later about um, how we're doing this with full-time jobs and making it like a side gig for you. But um, just wanted to say hi before that. I think I have a couple people on here right now. So I'm excited to see those guys. I'll talk. Hi guys. My name's Maggie. Um, just like the other Kelly, I also have type one diabetes and I started Beachbody um, less than a year and a half ago. And I, have been a stay-at-home mom for, um, I guess, three and a half years since my daughter was born. And after I had my baby, I was like, how in the world am I going to get to the gym, right? Oh my God, my life had totally turned upside down, just like all new moms know. So I started doing Beachbody and working out from home, and I found out about the opportunity to coach. And as a stay-at-home mom, something was missing in my life. And I know how incredibly lucky I am to have the opportunity to stay at home and be with my daughter. But I also have a dietetics degree. I also have a communications degree, mm -hmm. right? I felt like there was more that I could contribute to society than just cooking and cleaning in my house. And I found out about this opportunity and it has changed my life. Um, my health is my number one priority and being able to help others has just been incredibly life-changing and coaching has honestly been the best thing I've ever done. So thanks for listening. Hey guys, um, I'm Mary Page and I am, I live in Roanoke, Virginia, if you don't know where that is, it's out in the mountains. Um, and I've been coaching, um, I've been doing the programs for about two and a half years at this point, but I've been actively coaching um, for two years. And um, I, I was a full-time um, graphic designer and uh, web marketing project manager for a long time. Um, and then um, right around the time I started Beachbody, I'd quit my job and I became a stay-at-home mom. And um, I had a three-year-old and a 10-month-old, and I was really, I just very overweight. So for me, what it began as um, a way to avoid a lot of um, health risks, because I had gestational diabetes, I was obese, I had had a mini stroke, um, I just had a, a ton of things that were stacked against me, and I just knew I had to get real about it. So um, my coach, you know, invited me, and I 
told her no the first time and then I said yes and the one of the questions I asked her I was like well do I have to sign up anybody you know right away and she was like of course not but I kind of already knew that coaching was probably going to be something I might enjoy and then I just fell in love with the community um these ladies here are just like um like someone else said like some of the best friends um that you could ever have and we really are a tribe we we lift each other up and support each other when we're down so um you can't you can't beat it so that is first and foremost why i wanted to be a part of the community um also you know supplementing income which is I'm not, this is not a full-time job, but I'm also a stay-at-home mom. So it's like, I'm contributing some and also I can, you know, we can go out on more date nights. Um, and then there's a travel aspect to it as well. I took my husband, um, on a, um, cruise this past March. It was our first trip away from our children ever. <laughs> and, um, that was all because, um, of Beachbody. So I'm very grateful for this opportunity and, um, you know, coaching has seriously changed my life. I can go next. <laughs> I'm Ashley. Um, my one year coaching anniversary is coming up this coming month in June. It's been a year of active coaching. Um, so I started this program um, actually shortly after my son um, Oliver passed away from a heart defect at six months old. Um, I knew I wanted to lose weight. And thanks to my coach, Dana, um, I started to lose weight and then lo and behold, literally maybe like two months after he passed away, I was pregnant again with my rainbow. So then in my mind, my fitness took a back seat and I was pregnant. Then, um, about two months after my daughter was born, uh, perfectly healthy. I was found myself at, uh, close to 300 pounds. And I didn't recognize myself. I had postpartum anxiety, postpartum depression. I also had PTSD. So I dove in and said yes and said I want to find myself again. And because of coaching and because of these ladies, I am down 90 pounds and just feeling better than I ever have pretty much in my entire life and so fulfilled. So if you are not at your goal weight. Don't think that you have to be, no offense ladies, this big to start because you don't. <laughs> you can change other people's lives and help other people. Even us curvy girls like to get healthy too. Um, can I introduce myself for a second? Hi, um, I'm Katie. I live up in Rockport, Massachusetts, and I've been coaching since November of 2016. Um, honestly, I'm one of those people that, yes, it started for me just with my own fitness journey. And I had been following um, the coach, Kelly Riley, that brought me on for a few months. And then I wanted to do it, and I didn't think I had the money. And um, the challenge pack I got was probably the best money I ever spent. Um, before I did it, I had just generally speaking been feeling like very stale in my life. I had um, three little kids. And I think even if I wasn't a mom, the truth is, I think just the age that I was at I was 38 years old and just feeling like what's coming next, you know, what am I doing? And I just wasn't feeling very confident in myself, hated looking in the mirror, I hated putting clothes on the whole nine yards, just sitting like a blob in the couch. Anyway, so I get the first challenge pack. I start doing the programs and I was only a few pounds, but definitely a few inches down a few weeks into it. And I just knew that coaching was for me. It just completely changed my perspective and everything because I saw that like nothing else I had ever tried or done that these workout programs and this, this shakeology was like liquid gold. The meal planning was just took so simple. I won't say it was easy to make a change, but it was simple. And Kelly and Dana and Annalisa and uh, Laura and, and everybody else that I was watching and helping me when I first joined helped me see that even though it, was easy, it wasn't easy, it was simple and they coached me. So a few weeks into it, I was like, this is what I needed. And since I've been coaching, um, it's really given me the confidence to do other things. I ended up becoming a yoga teacher and I'd wanted to do that before, but thought I never could. It was a 200 hour intense training. I ended up getting bar certified. So 
I teach bar and I teach hot power yoga. Um, but this, honestly, the beach body workouts, everything, the meal planning, Shaco, the tribe, the vibe, um, it's just an important part of my life. And I think anybody would be crazy to not, not want to do this. So just wanted to say that. Thank you. Yay, you guys are rocking. So that's most of our team. I don't want to cut anybody off, but I do want to um, introduce some of these topics that are on the forefront of people's minds. So I think Mary Page, are you kicking us off with, um, do you have to be at your goal weight? Yes. So as Ashley mentioned to you guys already, there is no weight that you need to be at period. Um, uh, like I mentioned in my story, I was overweight. Um, I've lost 50 pounds on this entire journey, but when I started coaching, um, <laughs> thanks, Aunt Lisa. Uh, when I started coaching, I had only lost about 15, uh, maybe even less than that. But I just knew that I was called for this. I was seeing results already. And I, absolutely just like i said loved everything about it the community the accountability the motivation and i just was showing up every day and doing what i love to do and i was like hey i've got friends too who might want this and so i just started sharing my journey online like and that's what it's all about you know you don't have to be a certain size in order to be good at what you do you have to have the heart what that's what kind of boils down you got to be able to connect with people and want to love and support them and um when when you kind of all you know look at everyone across the board there's no um shape or size you know we're all different shapes and sizes is kind of what i'm trying to get at so um as far as being your goal weight there's there's no reason why you can't say yes right now because the reason the number one reason people follow you is because they want to see your journey. And I got to be honest, you know, those first few months I was kind of kicking off, like I had a couple of people ask questions, but it was like when I was continuously sharing my journey and they were watching me transform into this different person, this person who loved fitness now, who was meal planning and doing all the, you know, eating well and drinking this crazy shake. What is that? Like, that's when they started asking me questions behind the scenes. Like, what are you doing? And it just kind of, it was evol like, ever evolving for me. So people want to watch you go through it and they want to follow you. And, and there will be people who follow you for a while or people who are just like right up front. Hey, I want to get on what you're doing. Like, tell me all about it. So that is the most important thing to think about when you are planning to do this. Cause a lot of people say, I can't do what you do. I need to be, I need to be at my goal weight to do it. And that's absolutely not true. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight to that. I think we're throwing it over to you, Dana, for, um, the, um, pay, how do you get paid? <laughs> the deep stuff. I guess that's an important thing to talk about, right? <laughs> um, okay. So how we earn income as coaches. Um, first and foremost, I want to say before I even kind of explain this topic is that this is not a one size fits all opportunity. It is not something where you are required to hit a certain quota or you get the boot if you don't. Um, or, you know, that you have to eventually want to quit your job and become a full-time coach. Um, sometimes people have that misconception if, if they're working or talking to someone that is a full-time coach or wants to pursue something greater, um, with this business, it is not something where you have to do what your coach or your team is doing. It is something where we really want you to hone in on what it is you want to see happen in your life. And then we help you use this as the vehicle to create that. So maybe that's just getting your products paid for because it's tough to pay for Shakeology and performance line. Um, maybe that's because you have debt you'd like to pay off or you'd like to supplement some income or save for some family trips or save to buy a home. Um, the possibilities are endless with this. I knew from day one personally coming into this opportunity that I wanted to be full-time. I wanted to stay home with my son. Um, I didn't want to do anything else. Um, 
So that was the path I chose to pursue. And that was the pace that I worked my business. So again, the depending on what you desire to create with this business, we help you figure out the benchmarks um, to work towards and mentor you along towards hitting your own goals. Um, so just to make that kind of clear, you're not locked into anything specific. This is what you design it to be. And with that said, this is a business. It is hard work. It does take consistency. It does take dedication. It does take a willingness to be coachable and to develop new skills and to dig into trainings and be resourceful. Um, it is simple, but it is not easy. That's what we always say. Um, but we are here to help you and guide you and train you every step of the way. So with that said, how we earn income as coaches, um, the number one way we earn as coaches, especially if you are a brand new coach starting out, is you're going to make commissions. Um, so for example, if you sign up with a challenge pack or you intend to sign up with one, um, we get commissions off of those orders, right? So that's the first way we earn as coaches. Um, the second way are we have little incentive things like fast start bonuses. So if you are someone that is just super passionate, super excited, um, you're choosing to help a handful of people every single month, you do have the opportunity to earn bonuses for helping a certain amount of people in a specific time period. So that's a great little extra incentive if you decide to come in and run out of the gates and change a lot of lives. Um, as you grow um, in your business and as you start to help more customers and as you perhaps start to share the coaching opportunity, um, you start to grow volume under your account. And it's going to sound like gibberish if you're not doing what we do, but just know we explain all this to you. Um, but you start to open the door to earning residual income, which residual income is why network marketing is different than anything else out there. Because as you grow residual income, you can literally take, um, you know, time, like for example, I'm five and a half years into this business and this last year I went through a lot health wise and I had to really step back um, with the time that I was putting into my business, yet my income stepped coming, kept coming in because I had worked so hard to build a full-time residual income that way. So, um, essentially it's like if you at a normal job, take a week off for vacation, perhaps you're not getting paid for it, but with coaching and with network marketing, you build freedom, if that makes sense. So that is why this uh, business is so, so powerful. Um, the next way we earn is that as we grow an organization and as you grow a team and you start to influence others and help them learn to, um, you know, change their own lives and then pay this forward to help other people change their lives, Beachbody rewards us for our team's success um, and we get what we call a matching bonus. And then also at certain ranks in the company, there are certain ranks that you climb to and get towards that open the door for getting quarterly bonuses in this business, which are also incredibly life-changing. Um, and then other ways aside from actual income, um, we do have the opportunity to earn trips every single year, um, all expenses paid vacations, which is incredibly life-changing, especially if you are someone like me that just never thought traveling was really in the cards for you because as a new single parent, that was not my plan for my life. Um, and then also we have the opportunity every single month to earn prizes and swag, things like t-shirts or personal development books or webinars, um, just fun little extra incentives too. So that basically in sum is how we earn income as coaches. And again, the potential of this business is completely limited limitless. Um, there is no income or success guaranteed with this opportunity. It is totally dependent on your consistency, your diligence, your skill, and what you put into this, you will get out of it. So I hope that explains. Heck yeah. Thank you, Dana. Um, I think if it's okay with you, Kelly Riley, I'm going to throw it over to Kelly Spencer because Kelly Spencer, I want to know what it's like to grow, um, work towards a full-time income on a side gig on top of a full-time income. So what is it like to work full-time and do this part-time, but grow it to the potential of a full-time income? Well, I'm also glad that you called on me because my phone is dying and I cannot get my computer to load. And so there's a very good chance within the next couple minutes. And my, my, I'm just going to sign off. Not Talk on less. purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I still have 10%. I'm good for right now. Um, Okay, so I have an interesting like path with um, with 
coaching. So when I started coaching, like I said, initially, I was like, no, 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 I don't want to do this. And then I started it. And within like, five days, I was hooked and in love with it and um, really ran with it. Um, and so then my goal within a month, my goal was to leave my corporate job um, and just coach and have my kids home with me within a year. I was actually able to do it within 10 months. Um, and for the first like year, I was loving it. And then um, after about another six months or so, I realized that I am not a good stay at home mom. I'm like the worst stay at home mom. Um, I needed a break from my kids. I needed to be around adults in like, not just virtually, but I just needed to get out of my house. Um, and I'm sort of the obsessive person that when I get working, I, I won't leave my seat. So I found myself just sitting and just working all the time and, and not enjoying the fact that I was staying at home. Um, and so I decided to go back to work full time and keep on coaching part time. Um, <clears throat> and it was the best decision I've ever made because I was able to, um, I was able to connect more genuinely with the people that I was coaching because I was able to relate to them more because most of the people that I w was working with were actually full time working moms. Um, but I was also able to just be myself more. And I was able to, um, be honest about my struggles and really, you know, come forward with all of the things that I had been, been struggling with over the past year or so. So, um, the way that I make this work, um, is there are some days that are long, like today, Wednesdays are usually just long days for us as coaches, because we have our team calls on, on Wednesday nights. Um, I, I tend to coaching wherever it makes sense. So one of the best things about coaching for us is that it's a lifestyle. It's not something that's necessarily feels like a job. Um, it's 100% a lifestyle. So you share your life as a coach. You, um, you know, if I'm out and I take my kids for a run, I'm sharing that. And all I do is I take a picture and I post it and I post something about it. Um, so it really like ingrains itself well just into your regular life, whether you're full-time or part-time. Um, I tend to find little pockets of my day while I'm at work where I can, you know, if I'm walking to the store or something um, on my lunch break, generally I either work out on my lunch break. So I have time at night to be like free with my kids. I spend 30 minutes on my lunch break actually teaching people, um, you know, planning for my challenge groups, things like that. But you find little pockets of time to make it work. And the best part about when you're doing it full time, when you're working full time and you have this as literally as a side gig is that you can put as much energy or, you know, freedom and, and giving yourself grace as you need to, because you still know that, you know, you're okay. You still have that salary, whatever. And this is something that you're doing because you're passionate about it. And so when you are doing it as a part-time side gig, because you just love it, you, it comes, it comes out more naturally. And, um, you know, people feel that you don't think of it as a job. People understand that it's something that you feel strongly about and that it makes you feel good. Um, so it's, it's a balancing act. Yes, but it's totally doable and you just find the time that works for you. And then you give yourself grace on the days that you can't do both and, and you can only do your full-time job, you know, you know, they're, Hey, I need two hours on Saturday to just get some work done. Um, but it's, it's, it's a balancing act, but it's worth it because what the other two hours or hour of my day that, you know, I, I spend coaching now, otherwise, what would I be doing? I would be probably scrolling Facebook. Anyways, I'd be sitting on the couch watching Netflix. Like I wouldn't be doing anything that felt good with my time. Um, not that Netflix doesn't feel good because it feels real good some days. <laughs> um, but I, I find that I, I feel like I'm, I'm working on something that's, that's really meaningful to myself in conjunction with, you know, my full-time job. So, um, hit me with any questions you guys have about it, but, um, it took me a couple months to really kind of get back into the swing of things, but I think I've got it now. And I, I feel like I've got a little bit of a rhythm. Um, and then the one last thing I will tell you is that um, one of, and everybody has mentioned this, but one of the best things about this team is the support system that you have, because I went back to work in January and I think it was about March. All of a sudden I started being like, 
okay, this is a lot. I don't know if I can do this. And I, I started messaging Dana and I was like, okay, somebody needs to rein me in because like I told you guys, I get a little obsessive. And so I was trying to do so much of everything. And she was like, you need to just chill out and you need to just be nice to yourself and give yourself some time. You know, that's part of the reason you did this is so that, you know, you can feel like it's part time. You don't have to feel like it's full time. And, and it's just, it's an incredible community of people who will help you navigate your way through this, through all of this. And, you know, however big or however small you want to do it, that's what we're here for is to help you navigate that and help you figure it out and adjust to it and, and, you know, reacclimate as you need to and as you go. So that's it for me. And if I sign off, you know, by accident, it's not because I don't like you guys. <laughs> totally awesome. I can absolutely relate to what Kelly just talked about. Um, and so guys, who are new to this and listening to this on this team we are so similar in a lot of ways but we are also so different in a lot of ways so if you don't connect with one person on the team it's likely you'll connect with four others in terms of how they're running their business how they do it in the cracks of the day whether they're spending five hours a day on it two hours a day whatever they can get done whether it's five hours on a weekend day because they just couldn't get to it on Thursday and Friday, those kinds of things. So consistency is important, but it works differently for everyone on the team. Um, I do think it's a good time from what Kelly was just talking about to actually pop over to Rachel, who's going to talk to us about what we actually do as coaches. Like how can they possibly spend five hours working a business where all it looks like they do is work out and post on social media. So what is it that we do behind the scenes to grow a business? Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for staying on my bus so late tonight. Um, just cause I didn't introduce myself at all before for hello to a couple of people on here. Um, I'm a dog mama, a wife, um, and I work as a clinician. I make arms and legs for amputees actually. And I also coach synchronized swimming. So similar to other people you've heard about, I keep a busy life um, and really have been enjoying this kind of as a hobby and over the past six months been doing it more part time because I've stepped back from my clinical work. And um, th the reason why I decided to step back from my clinical work is because what we do do daily is so simple um, at the end of the day. We basically, what we do is we share our journey on social media. So that's why Annalisa kind of jokes a little that that's kind of looks like all we do, but it's kind of that simple. So you don't really need to overthink this as a business. Um, uh, just like any business, you have to invite people to it. I mean, even as a clinician, I make prosthetics for um, amputees. I still have to invite amputees to come to my clinic um, because Healthcare is a business too. It's, it's just like any other business. If you work at a grocery store, you have to invite people to come to your grocery store. I mean, it's no different than any other business. And that's just a way we use to invite people to um, come join our fun because our, our jam is fun. And um, it's really cool too because using a corporate platform to run an online wellness business gives you a ton of resources right at your fingertips through the coach online office that we use. Again, it's lingo that we use here. You would learn about if you join our fun, but um, there's tons of resources through there. And then also locally, like through our team, everybody you see here, we're constantly talking about and sharing not only about how to grow our business, but also how to support our clients and their journeys. So it's not like you're ever out on a limb trying to figure something out, recreating wheels. Um, it's all there. It's all available to tap into. And if we ever have questions, we just ask each other. So it's that simple. I love that. Keep it simple. As new coaches, people can sometimes get overwhelmed. There will be a lot to learn when you jump in, but like, um, they, people have been saying, like you set the pace of your business and you learn how to do it. And it is as simple as being proof the products work, committing to your journey, sharing that on social media, the good, the bad, the ugly, um, getting vulnerable with people and just letting them know how your journey's going. It's not always gonna be perfect and just sharing that. Um, and we teach you, like Rachel just said, we teach you and we have all these resources of how to do that effectively without being on social media and sounding like 
icky salespeople or sending those cold messages that you get and you automatically are like, oh, another cold message. We don't want to be those people. We want to be relationship professionals, right? We want to be pros at building relationships and connecting with people. So Kelly Riley, take us home with how our community, what it means to you and what we do together and why we all love each other so much. So I love this conversation, this topic, guys, because um, as you had heard earlier, um, I'm a nurse, so I work in a hospital, and I love what I do, and I feel as though for me, this is something I'm able to take outside of the hospital to be able to reach and help even more people. The downside of working in a hospital is I, when it comes to what we do for ourselves, we pretty much are lacking and what we get um, for the work that we put in is pretty much lacking. Um, we, I had my annual review today, guys, and I had to laugh because I got the highest marks. They praised, they did everything. They said, we're so nervous you're going to walk out on us someday. And um, basically, I got a pat on the back and walked out the door. So there's, there's no raise, there's no nothing. Like it's just basically you, you bust your hump and not that that's not, a, you know, that feels good, of course. Um, but what I get doing this role is so much more that I had to walk out and just laugh. And I came home to my husband just laughing because he was like, really? You like, that's all? Because with what I get with coaching, number one, do I have this, this community of the women? And this is just a fraction of our team, guys. The community is something that I don't have in any of the jobs that I've ever had before. We are all supporting each other every step of the way. We have numerous text threads or um, messengers that go along. If anyone has a question at any point, we reach out to each other and we're all there to support people because we all want to see each other succeed. And that's really, really hard to find nowadays in, in any part of our world, let alone in a working environment. Um, so the community itself is just like no other. Um, truly become some of my best friends, and it's weird to say I've met some of my best friends on the internet, um, but it's true. Um, and so then it comes to what we get in reward. We get in reward every single day when we have people message us telling us that they were able to, you know, get their, you know, lab results to a certain level to be able to conceive because they have type 1 diabetes. We get lab results, we get messages saying that they were able to fit into their pre-pregnancy pants or they were able to feel better about themselves. They were able to finally do something for them because they were in this chaotic mom world and they kind of put their health on a back burner. We get messages every day of all the positive praise these programs have done for them. We know it. That's why we're coaches. Um, but the to, to then have the company reward us in ways of travel, and this is why I like to talk about this, guys, because I love to go places. I love to travel. I'm a busy mom. And to see, since I really started coaching probably in the past three years, all the places I've been in my nursing role has not given me at all. This is another reason why I stay on track. So we get these things called success club trips and you earn them once again for a job well done. Um, but it doesn't take massive work to be able to earn these trips, guys. You don't have to be the top leaders in the company, but as long as you're showing up each day and doing the basic things that you would get taught, then likely you will be earning these trips. I've gotten invited to the Dominican. I've gotten invited to Mexico. I went with my husband. Um, I just got back from a trip in um, the cruise. They basically rented out the biggest cruise ship in the world and it was all of Beachbody. So many of us got to go on it. And this time I got to bring my children and it happened to be my son's eighth birthday. So pretty killer eighth birthday. Um, and then next year I've already been awarded the Dominican trip. So these are all inclusive trips that are amazing. When I talk to you about, you know, golf, spa time, all alcohol, all food, all everything, like events at night, it is all on the company and they know how to treat us good. So we get that, um, once again, earned. I got a trip um, for another job well done and I got sent out to LA to go to corporate. I also got to, they put us up in a hotel um, in LA. We had tons of events. We learned from the best of the best in regards to teaching us how to grow our business. Um, got to mingle with trainers, work out with top trainers. I forgot to say, a bunch of the trainers were on the cruise with us. So we got to wake up each morning to work out with them. Um, but that was an amazing trip. Each year, um, we often within our team have a team retreat. And I've been able to go to two retreats in Florida. Um, 
we have gone to our annual summit, which many of us coaches, we actually take over a massive town. The first year I went to New Orleans. Um, last year I was in Indy, and this July I'm in Indy again. We work out with top trainers. We learn, we go into workshops to have the company teach us how to grow our business. Um, we get to be together as a team. We get to go out, have some party time, fun time. We have team luncheons, and we basically get to um, come together since then, so many of us are across the country um, and be a part of our amazing team. And another option is for people that are at certain levels in the company, they go to a leadership retreat. Um, I believe it's been a couple of times in Vegas. So all those things that I told you about have happened in Tripwise for me in the past three years. And that's a lot of travel. And a lot of it has been awarded. And some of it has been obviously earned and I might have paid a little bit to go to part of it, but it's nothing like I get with my current job. And my husband loves these trips. He looks forward to these trips every year. And my kids now think Beachbody's awesome. They weren't so sure before, but now they think it's really cool. And my son now thinks his birthdays are going to be in different countries because of Beachbody, because they happen to fall on his birthday. Um, so that is just a bonus, guys. Um, and, you know, once again, all things that could be potentially for you and your family if you decide to join us, join our crew. I just got so excited about going to Summit because your energy was, <laughs> I'm like, yay, we're to the next trip. Um, so we all go to Summit in July and any new coaches are welcome to join us in Indianapolis this summer um, for the annual conference. So if you're joining us this month or whatever, look into it. And it, it does not go without saying like some of these things are sacrifices, getting to conferences as a mom, um, as a wife, as a person who works full time, taking PTO, there are sacrifices to it. Um, are they required? No. Are they hugely beneficial to get to? Yes, absolutely. You get to feel the community Kelly talked about. You get to learn from the top coaches in her company. You get to, um, bump elbow what's the name what's bump shoulders i don't know with the trainers that kind of thing so it's a lot of fun to get to but yes it does take sacrifice and we do not just pretend that that's not the case um, but it is 1000 percent worth it and we will encourage you to get to every single event and also the quarterly events so there are local quarterly events um i don't know if kelly mentioned that but um but getting to something if you can't travel at least you can get to the one that's um in a big city near you which is pretty cool to see the team that is near you because you may be in a different state than many of us we're all over the place just on this call um that is all we had for you in terms of structured topics tonight we wanted to open up to you guys if you have any questions that we did not answer anything that you want to either type in the chat or feel free to unmute yourself and ask questions um, or just let us know if you're going to be joining our team but um, feel free to unmute and ask or if anyone else had anything to add that we didn't cover to do so briefly for people I know we are going to have a lot of people watching the recording that weren't able to get on to. So I just want to go ahead and throw this out there that there is a brand new new coach training. So if you do decide to join us, you are not just like signed up and fed to the wolves to figure it out. Um, you are put in an incredible training that explains step by step the actions to take the things to learn the things to do um so we literally hold your hand through this process to teach you the most important and simple basics to really getting your business off the ground and having success right out of the gate so hopefully if somebody had that question <laughs> um now they'll know yes like how do i learn what to do oh yes we teach you hmm. All right, it doesn't look like anyone has questions. Um, if you guys do have one, if it comes to you after you get off this call, the Backstage co the backstage Pass to Coaching, that group that you're in is a great place to throw that question in. Talk to your upline, reach out to anyone who is on this call. Um, and we really, we love nothing more than building the tribe and getting to know new people and seeing you succeed in your wellness goals and get those, first wins in your business and the the potential is just crazy in so many different ways so we hope that you seriously consider joining us we hope that we gave you some valuable information and that you enjoyed getting to know us a little bit and i personally look forward to seeing you guys 
So thank you so much for joining us tonight. Have a lovely night and have a great holiday weekend. Bye guys. Bye everybody. Bum, 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 bum.